All right, just went 0 for 5, and I'm now going to try to recover, see if I can make back some of the rating. Uh, I'm going to try for a... Okay, d6 is not so good here, um, but I like to try to do things that get c3 Sicilian players out of their regular territory. And now we're back, I think, in an okay position. Um, often this ends up looking weirdly like a Roy Lopez, because black goes for e5. Um, maybe get the bishop out first. Yeah, I'm just going to play e5. Try to pressure their center. Maybe rook e8, so ed4 has a threat. Okay, my knight on a5 looks actually pretty useful. c4 and b3 are potentially useful. Uh, now maybe go for the e4 pawn. Bring my rooks to the center. Uh, maybe get the queen to a8. So I guess I need to... Uh... Oh, I can just take a pawn now. Okay, let's gain a little space. I guess queen e7. Try to keep e5 defended. Knight e6. Maybe look to play e4. Maybe look to play f4. In this case, e4. If bishop g7, ef3. Yeah. Okay. I think I get g2. Now we do risk the dreaded opposite bishops here. I'm going to try to gain some kingside space. This looks useful for me. Uh, I'm going to take on f3, and if they take, I take d1. If they didn't take, they had other problems. Let's play a6. Get the pawns going. Okay, well. One for one. We've won a game. It's a miracle. Bullets hard. Alright, this guy beat up me in the last video. Uh, I think pretty soundly. What happened last game? I played this sort of weird Roy Lopez-ish line in the game I just played. I don't mean last time against that opponent. Um, against the C3 Sicilian. Uh, I like to play the exchange against the QGD. Um, I've been playing this... Okay. I've been playing this um, line that I now won't get to play, so let's quickly move on and start thinking about the actual position. Uh, let's not allow knight b4. I want my bishop to come to d3 unpestered. Uh, maybe f3 and switch to ideas where I push for e4. If b4, I think I just move the knight. It can take on a6 as well. I should do that. Uh, get castled. Probably bishop d3 coming soon. Okay, knight g3. At this point, I think I want to trade the bishops. I'm up a pawn, and I can push e4 or c4. Probably e4. They might get good pressure against c3 and a3. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we gave the pawn back. But e5, knight f5, maybe queen f5. Nope. Hangs a rook. Uh, they're going to come rook b2. How do I stop that? don't think I do. So let's go queen at knight f5. And maybe go queen d1 to f1 to keep uh, g2 under control. And again, I have to play faster. Threatening knight e7 takes c6. Uh, let's go ahead with that. Maybe knight b4 next. Hit d5. Okay. Um, I have to go fast. This is uh, resignable, but I will try to set up a mating now. I can resign if they uh, don't allow it, but...
And we clocked them. <laughs> Very suspicious. All right. Two for two. Uh, given how badly I clocked every game last last time, I feel hmm, still probably bad form. Okay, I like e4 here. Um, now e5, and the knight does not have a good square. I can just take, and then play queen g4, and g7 is potentially weak. Now d4, maybe bishop g5 next. Um, yeah, let's insert bishop g5, see where they go. And maybe knight of 3, maybe queen h4 coming, maybe I should have just played queen h4. Let's try it this turn. There's a pin, if knight g6, I can take on d8, then take on h4. Um... Okay, maybe bishop d3. They're still pinned. Alright, I'll come back. Let's keep the bishop lined towards their king. Avoid weird discoveries on my queen. I'm not sure quite how I want to continue this. I would love if they took on e3. I feel that would open lines for me. Uh, maybe knight h4 will prove useful. Think about f4, f5. Uh, okay, they're going to open the file for me. Um, I guess the knight's not doing much over there. Maybe c4 next, so that'll hang a pawn. Um, Alright, definitely want to open lines now, because of the blunders. Uh, look for uh, bishop takes d5 and knight f6 maybe sometimes. Um, do I want to? Let's try it. This would do anything. <clears throat> Maybe um, rook f1, if pawn takes, pawn takes, it's their queen and threatens queen g7. Uh, okay. And now we have to speed up, as always. Uh, the attack eventually got there, but it wasn't good. Where did I... I shouldn't have hung a pawn, but I also was having trouble finding um, a plan around here. I'm curious what the computer says here. Alright, crushingly winning. Ah, rook f3 makes a lot of sense. Quickly double the rooks. Um, but rook takes f7. Queen f2, another way to hit f7. That makes sense. But rook takes f7, king takes f7. I should find this without that. I didn't see what they said. So queen g6 or rook f1 or bishop g6. Um, queen g6 looks like a good start because if they go to g8, I take on e6 and they're forced to the f file. If they go to f8, I get rook f1 free. Um, but probably actually just rook f1. No, because then I don't get on e6. I was thinking queen g6. All right, queen g6. If king e7, then this is mate. If um, king g8, then queen e6 and knight g6 is mate. So I believe they have to go to f8. And then just rook e1, rook f1. So this is just mate. Ah, they can block with a lot of stuff and lose everything. Okay. Alright, so didn't find rook f7. That would have been a real cool move to uncork. Just rook f7, I have all the pieces, now I have to blow open your king's cover. Didn't consider it at all. Uh, I think we're up to... What am I on? Checking out the games we played. Uh, we're on 3 for 3 this video. Cool. Gotta go fast. Alright. Uh, I pre-move knight c3, which allows this stuff to happen, and my position's pretty terrible. Um, f4 looks good. But this, at least I get to conclude development without, like, collapsing my position. Um, I don't know. This could certainly be worse. Look for e5. I think I can still play e5. Queen e4 breaks the pin, hits h7, and blunders everything. Ooh. Alright, well.
Well, the important thing is to then play as quickly as possible. But, man. Let's keep pieces on the board. It wasn't quick, but... Um, I guess I can take that and then take this, and I got the piece back. Still super busted. Ah, that, that doesn't work at all. Okay. Uh, terrible, <laughs> terrible game. Uh, three for four. Yeah. So, I pre-move knight c3, and after d4 I get some problems. I should figure out still something to do there that's better than the, uh, the calamity that promptly ensued. But, okay. Um, e5 here is an interesting move. Um, my points to play d6... Try to have a uh, a clamp on the center. Maybe Bishop G4 is strong next. I think they should play H3. They didn't. Um, should I be scared? I'm gonna say no. Ah, uh, may have had problems with this before recently. Okay, let's come back. Try to defend F7. But this attack is surprisingly strong. Um, I feel like their queen's trapped, though, so I think I did okay. But I should definitely uh, go back and look at this one particularly. Um, I'm going to try to trade pieces now. And when I, they don't trade, I get to move forward with tempo. So maybe come queen h, uh, not queen h4, but you know, somewhere forward next, queen g5. Um, can I just take that? All right, uh, four for five. <laughs> Pretty bad game in the middle. Let's uh, let's look at this because uh, I'm curious in that opening. So I like e5. Um, d6, just solidify my big center. Knight f6 looked logical, bishop e7 looks very logical. And now knight g5 here. It seems like white shouldn't have enough attacking pieces. They have two. And if when I play h6, they play knight f3, I assumed bishop g4 was really annoying for them. I guess they might have time for h3 if they're committed to going g4. But that seemed worrisome for them. But they just went for f4. And I took, took... And I assumed bishop g4 was a good include, or I assumed knight g4 was the best square, and that bishop g4 would not be a useful inclusion, because now I have to worry about both these pieces. So how am I defending? I guess if queen h4, they don't have g6. So what if they throw in g6 immediately? Then I have bishop e6, and they don't have queen h4. So actually, yeah, so I was really worried here, like, because if I go knight e8 here, they can play a queen h5 and g6, and I can't really do much. And if I play similar bishop e6, they can play g6 anyway, because if I take, then the bishop's hanging, and that's mate. So that collapses. So I didn't want to play knight e8. So I thought knight g4 blocked the queen coming to h5. But actually, the queen coming to h4 is much less of a threat, because it does not combine well with g6. And here, I can just try to defend, and it's giving rook f7. Yeah, that's interesting. g6. Now, uh, yeah, I guess, let's say takes, and I can't go to f6, because queen h4, and they come into h8, so I have to come to c7 to keep, ooh, this is, this is hard to defend. So, okay, I played knight g4, they played g6, and I played knight h6, and I'm just busted. Man, surprising. So actually, instead of h6, maybe bishop g4 immediately. f3 completely brings their queen out of action, and if queen e1, knight d4 has a nice initiative. So yeah, so I should not necessarily just hit the knight away immediately. And one thing I like about this is the bishop can potentially defend the weak square. Okay, uh, went 4 for 5, was scary, but... Ugh, 